Albert, what was your experience like um, working with the elders on this project? Um, my experience with the elders was uh, was a very, you know, it was very energizing. <laughs> they have so much uh, knowledge mm -hmm. about history and mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, it's. You know, I feel very rooted, I guess, because, mm. you know, touching base with them. And, mm -hmm. But uh, many of them express the fact that, you know, uh, the elders before them have all now gone. So, mm -hmm. you, know, they, uh, you know, they can only relate to so much, uh, so much in uh, the time, in the, you know, in the time that they're living, you know. Mm -hmm. So... Because every generation has yeah, a new experience. Yeah. yeah, and some expression about uh, um, something that, uh, you know, that they uh, sort of regret that they should have, these, you know, history of in the valley should have been collected a long time ago. Sure. You know, but we've started it now, so, you know, it's, it's, we'll collect as much as we can mm -hmm. and go from there. And, uh, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to, it's going to grow. Was there anything new that you learned, or what were some of the most interesting things you learned from elders about the collection or about the, the Anderson River region? Mm -hmm. Because uh, most of the uh, uh, the elders that uh, that I talked with, uh, you know, they they live along the coast and not so much up in the Anderson River mm -hmm. area, so. You know, they can, uh, you know, they didn't really, they couldn't say really too much about, you know, up the Anderson River because mm -hmm. uh, they, they haven't been up there before, eh? And, mm -hmm. But uh, in terms of uh, clothing and tools, they, uh, you know, they, they have pretty good knowledge of, you know, the way the tools uh, were made and mm -hmm. used and the hunting equipment, clothing, you know, they can relate to those pretty close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's been a lot of interest in the patterns for the clothing. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, yeah, because that similarity uh, with how they make things now, eh? You mm -hmm. know, the clothing. I mean, you know, and, and when they think how it was done in mid 1800s, I mean, they just they're so excited and happy about it because you know they can mm -hmm. they can still do that. And, but uh, uh, some of the some of the skills that the ladies have, and also the men, are, are kind of uh, phasing out or fading away. Maybe you know, for example, is that the uh, crimping of uh, seal ubiuk hide so uh, soles that uh, they make so on the moccasins yeah, and the mucklucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those, they they remember them, but you know it's not practiced as much now. Right? Well, because it's mostly done with the teeth, is it not? That's right. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Yeah. 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 Any other questions from you, Mervin? That's good. Thanks, Albert.